Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palitska International, nail artist and educator here. And today we are going to do a beautiful flower uh, design. You can have a wee preview of it in here. They absolutely stunning and I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you're new in here, don't forget to subscribe as there is lots of tutorials coming up every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. Let's start. will be a pastel uh, flower design today and um, I will show you how to get this look. So I've got my tips uh, white and buffed. Um, I want the buff surface so the next uh, step is going to work uh, nice and easy. I'm going to use a piece of um, sponge for this uh, part and uh, on the bottom part of the tip I'm going to apply a small dot of the um, purple color which is 200 and then we are also going to use uh, some blue which is 220 and I'm just going to apply another drop of it on the top. I like the sponge technique uh, because it can blend the colors really nice and then I'm just going to blend the background. I like to also keep the sponge on the piece of the uh, form or the sellotape just so I can remove any dirts and fluff uh, which might be on it. And then I'm just blending it. I don't want it to be too pigmented, uh, just a little bit for this design. And I want some purple to, to going through it as well in the higher points. Then cure it and then do the same in here. It's an awesome way of doing the background, really, with the sponge, especially for the uh, for flowers. It gives a really interesting look. And then take this one. In the meantime, on my mixing plate, I'm going to pick up the colors which we'll use. And this is going to be in the 200. And uh, 234. We also want some green in there, so that's 202, it's like a turquoise, and 198, which is yellow. I also gonna need some uh, white uh, French gel paint and some black gel paint. Just a small dot of it. So just a tiny wee dot of the black. Actually straight away I can mix it here as well to get different shades of the green. And then I need a decent scoop of white. And then we can start painting those flowers. So I'm going to use the Demaster one stroke brush. This isn't one stroke what we are going to paint uh, as a kind of uh, wet to wet technique I would say. Uh, so the, the brush has a wee angle and it's a quite nice and tiny one. What you want to do to start with is pick up those orange and mix with the purple and then we are going to um, Paint like a background there. 
So basically you want to paint a rounded shape of those colors. I put all sorts of different ones and on the bottom is going to be darker. Doesn't matter how you paint it, it's just, uh, just a background. Okay, so we've got that uh, rounded shape. Here maybe some single petals. Before we cure it, we are going to paint the next layer. Okay, so this is our layer. And then I'm going to introduce some white on the one side of my brush. And maybe this orange color. Mix it a little bit so it's not too strong. And then we are going to start painting those petals. It's going to give quite interesting look. You can see it, uh, how the paint start to mix. So I'm smudging the colors with the white. Each time clean your brush because otherwise you will have too much of those darker colors. So we can see it. That's we have created really interesting flower already there. We are going to give it a cure. And then paint another one in here. So same, the lighter color. And then the darker color. Clean the brush. I'm just using a dry wipe to clean it. And then pick up the white. I'm pressing quite decent. So I've got another petal. I actually want some places to have more product, so they are kind of almost like sticking out. I think it's also a really nice combination of the colors together and then give it a cure. I've got also one more chip, so I'm going to show you another one. So this time just paint it like a rounded shape first. And then on the bottom, you want to kind of go like around it. Okay, so we've got rounded center and then you can go even lighter at the edges, like this. Okay, a couple of the strokes. You 
You can also see it like uh, here we are going to have some center inside. And then once we have created this top part of the flowers, uh, we don't want the petals to go on the top. The next ones are going on the sides and on the bottom. So this petal is going to be on the side. And then the other ones are on the bottom. and then give it a flash cure. Okay, after this part is done, we can start um, painting the green parts. I'm just picking up some green. I've got a very straight brush now. And same now, going with the white. It's a kind of almost like a twisting motion I'm doing there. And then the D-liner brush to paint a couple of the stroughs. Give it a flash cure. Straight brush. Give a couple wiggles. I'm not cleaning my brush in between the picks, like I feel like it is much actually nicer when I've got all this mix of the different colors. And then a couple of those wee lines. Flash cure it. Actually, it's a really quick and fun design to do it. Ash cure it. Now, because we wanted it to kind of look a little bit uh, more 3D, we are going to apply matte top coat over it. It looks nice just the way it is, like a really quick flowers, but we are going to put a matte top. 
Cook it. Clean mat on this one. Cook it. It looks nice and matte as well, and you can kind of almost see it. It's uh, this particles kind of um, stands out. But we are going to take a brush. And add a couple more petals on top of the top coat. Uh, and this will make it really much more interesting. Because we are kind of creating another layer of the petals there. They're going to be very pastel flowers. And then give it a cure. Same on this one. And I'm kind of repeating the same motion. Um, And then give it a cure. can see it, we've got much more dimension now. Also, do it on the leaf as well. Mm -hmm. 
then apply the top coat Give it a cure. Really fun flowers to do it. And you create them honestly like with the one move of the brush. You can't go wrong really. Just to make the things even better, we are going to take the D-liner brush and we will add even more detail in some places. And this detail we are going to leave it with out of top coat, so no top coat over it. I'm again doing kind of similar motion. It's almost like an inverted C letter. Just to indicate those petals. And then give it a cure so this way it is more shady. Actually, it then go the same in here The only thing is try to do it in the same direction like um, the, the white.
Okay, so this is what I mean the same direction. I have to place them all the same. And in those places where we got this white looks nice and 3D. Look, even if it's just a wee line. Okay, and then cook it. There was... Um, some wallpaper which was like kind of looking similar but it has some gold accents into it so um, actually this tip is screaming to me put some gold transfer foil through it uh, i might actually do it a different tutorial with a similar kind of idea um, i think it will be super cool but look how much dimension we are getting by adding those white it's just completely changed the design, like completely. If you've got too much uh, paint on your brush, just uh, remove it by rolling it. Okay, so on the top I've got those tiny wee flowers, petals, and then here is a decent one. Here another one, kind of have to find those petals you want to define. The veins. Okay, and I show you guys what I mean by one direction. So I cannot put the lines this way. I have put them there, so I need to keep the kind of certain, the same angle-ish. So my lines has to go like this. Here is another petal. And again, we line. And the last one here. And then give it a cook. It's almost like a peony, peony flowers. Oh, they already. Oh, wow, they already. I should actually uh, quickly do this one as well. Like, look at the difference of them. Like, it's so much, uh, so much better with those uh, white on top of it. Like, absolutely. Unbelievable difference. No, the rod had do it properly. <laughs> do you guys sometimes do it as well? Something like to rush it and then you realize like this was stupid.
we better don't do it or do it properly. Okay, so here I've got a decent petal there. Here is another one. And another one. Then here I've got like a wee center. With some petal. And some petal. Let me clean the brush because it's loaded with the paint. So you don't want the full brush of the paint because then you're losing control over it. So you start working messy. And then here I've got another petal. And another one. And then this petal. I think the more you do it, the easier it becomes. And then so it doesn't look empty, we have to just follow the kind of idea on the leaves as well. And let me give it a cook. Okay, I can show you all of them. Now the the white French uh, the white French gel uh, is having a tiny bit of the inhibition layer, so I always clean it. But I don't need to have a top coat. It is okay. It's going to stay on because you guys often ask me this question. UV cleanser, UV cleanser is much more gentle than the Neil Prep, which is a blue. Scrub, clean it well, because it doesn't do the top coat like the blue scrub is more stronger and the UV cleanser isn't. And we've got a beautiful first flower. You can see it, it has those dimension like we have created, really nice dimension there. Then we've got another one. And actually this one is so pretty too. They're all different, like, and it's, it's really so much fun to create them. I get the cameraman to bend. Because <laughs> I just dropped the tip on the floor. If we find it, this is going to be so difficult because it's really tight in here. Can you see it? Yeah, I'm seeing the thing. Yeah, it's too far down. Oh no! Then I've got another one in here. And then I can clean this one. Okay, so I've got the flowers in here. Oh, and I've got the missing one as well. And the missing one. The missing one was so pretty. See, it was well needed here. I need it here. I actually like those three together the most and then this one here. So that's what we have created today. It looks so pretty together. Like, yeah, really nice. I hope you have guys really enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, hit the share button so the other seat can see it as well. I'm sending you lots of glittery hugs and bye for now.